Hey, welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. Listen, I want to tell you guys, some of you guys are running out buying stock right now. That's cool. But read the title. It says cash up. Get your money ready. Listen, I want you guys to wait until after the election. Wait until after the election. It's Tuesday, right? And then let the dust settle. Let us find out who the clear winner is winner he is. And I'm just telling you, there's still some volatility left. There's still a lot of volatility left, right? You're going to see uh, probably tech just getting hammered, right? And, and you're saying, what's tech? Tech is everything tech. Tech is EVs, you know, electric vehicles. That's technology. Uh, tech is, is, is 5G. Tech is phones. Tech is cloud. You're going to see it's just going to be getting hammered. So it's just going to be a volatile season. Now, if you bought, hold. If you bought in the last you know, five days, hold, you're good. You're going to make money over a long period of time. But I don't want to just talk about hype stock. I want you guys to be savvy investors and make a lot of money. OK, I want you guys to make money. That's what this is all about. Having said all of that. My stock today is in the 5G space, right? 5G was, uh, it slowed down because of COVID. It lost a year, right? The build out. The build out is, it, they're going to be building out 5G for years to come. Many years to come. And there's a lot of money to be made in 5G if you're getting in right now. Now, before I tell you what the stock is, I want to put this in your thought pattern first, right? You don't want to catch a falling knife. You don't catch a falling knife. You let that hit the ground because you're going to get cut. You want to wait for that knife to bottom out. See that right there. That's worth a like. Go on ahead. Hit that like button. Hit it. Hit it. You know that was good. If we was in church, I'd be saying, can I get an amen? Right. It's like an elephant getting ready to sit down. You don't wait until the elephant sit down. If you see the elephant about to sit on you. You move and let that elephant, what, hit the ground. So I'm telling you guys that about your stock choices. Let it hit the ground, right? We don't know if it's at the bottom. So wait until after the election. Then another thing is, don't be a scared, don't be a scared. Don't be scared of um, stock that are, are high cap stock. Don't just invest in low cap stock. Don't just investing in stock that are under $20, $5, because you're thinking some of you newer guys, you're thinking, well, if it's cheaper, I can afford more stock. And I will tell you, I learned a lesson from that. You look at the percentage of what you're making on your money, right? I know I keep going back to Tesla, but Tesla has taught me a lot. Every year you should learn something, right? And, and this year I've learned a lot of lessons. So that's going to be another video lessons I've learned. Right. But Tesla, when I saw Tesla at, you know, I bought it at five, bought it at seven. When I saw it at 900, I'm like, there, there's no way I'm buying a stock at $900. That's crazy. And then as I did research, I did. And then I sold it for 1680. Months later, not years later, months later. So you're talking about a hundred percent almost. I know I can count. I know what 99 is, right? But you're talking, actually, I did have some that I did uh, sell at a hundred percent because it went over $2,000, right? So I'm telling you guys, and then I got back in post split. But I'm telling you guys, you got to look at percentage. So if you took a thousand dollars and invested it in in stock that was, you know, twenty dollars a piece. Right. And you only made 20 percent of that money. Then you only made 20 percent on that thousand dollars. Think of it this way. But if you took that same thousand dollars and put it in a high cap stock, even though it's one hundred, two hundred dollars and you made one hundred percent now. That thousand dollars is two thousand dollars. So you made more money on your investment. See there that's for those of you that didn't hit that like button on the first one. That's worth hitting it again. So let's get to the stock. The stock today I'm talking about is called Qualcomm. 
and in the uh, ticker symbol is QCOM, QCOM, Qualcomm. It's in the 5G space. You know, I got some notes here, so I ain't fronting with y'all, okay? <laughs> so it's in the 5G, but 5G by 2026 will be a $13 trillion industry by 2035. $13 trillion, not billion, trillion. And so the build out is long, but it is a, it's supposed to be a hundred times faster than 4G. 5G is supposed to be a hundred times faster, right? So I will tell you, I, I told you to wait until after the election, right? But I'm going to tell you that Qualcomm will also be not just for iPhones, they're a chip maker, right? And they're not just for the iPhones, but they're also in autonomous driving cars, right? Even with the cars that have driver assist because they're a chip maker and you need that fast speed for autonomous driving cars. You need that interaction. Um, Qualcomm's um, patents, what they file for their patents, their patents alone is priceless. They have one of the um, most lucrative patents out of every company in the world. I mean, they are set to truly explode even at this dollar cost. I want you guys to look at Qualcomm over the last three months. Just look at it. Look at Qualcomm over the last year. Just look at it. And if you would have gotten it just three months ago, you be looking really good right now. So that's why I don't want you guys to be scared of high cap stock, right? Because there's plenty of money to be made. Again, guys, wait until after the election. Don't go run out and buy this right now. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> don't do that. All right. I want you guys to make money with um, Qualcomm and all of these stocks. But I will tell you this and you're going to research. You're going to see that they had a contract with Apple and Apple used their technology. And then Apple wanted to go on and continue to use their technology and go, OK, we're, we're done with you now. We're just going to go and make our trillions and we're done with you. And Qualcomm says, nah, mm -mm, not going to happen, Captain. And Qualcomm sued them and Qualcomm won. And um, it's undisclosed, undisclosed, really, but I think it was to the to the tune of a billion dollars that they paid Qualcomm. And you says, OK, well, that scares me. Well, what you want to know is this was in 2019. What you want to know is Qualcomm. They don't want that technology to get out. Qualcomm don't want it to get out, not even in court. And neither does the uh, does Apple because their money, their protections, what keeps them Apple is their technology. And so what they agreed on is a six year deal. Now this happened last year in 2019. So they are locked in for the next six years. And so every year Qualcomm is just, it's a worldwide company. And anybody that uses 5G only have a few choices. And Qualcomm is going to be one. Pretty much anybody in the 5G space, they're going to be looking at Qualcomm. Check this out. This is an important event for Qualcomm the way I see it because Qualcomm wins pretty much when anybody has to build a 5G phone and when Apple's rivals have to build in new capabilities to compete with Apple, they, they pretty much got to go to Snapdragon most of the time, right? Yeah, I mean, Qualcomm is definitely going to uh, benefit. So uh, there, there you have it. I mean, it is a huge opportunity there again. Don't be scared of the purchase price. There's money to be made. And again, six years, so five more years, they're locked into a contract with the richest company in the world. Right. And that is Apple. And so they can raise their prices. They are locked in. They're loaded. Their patents are priceless. I mean, it's a license to print money. Now is the time to get in. But you guys, what are you going to do? You're going to wait 
until after the election. It's, it's not going to triple from now into the election. Let the knife fall, right? You guys, you know, you know, I need you guys to subscribe. All right. So we, we, I'm telling you right now, if I get 40,000 subscribers, uh, uh, I want that before Christmas y'all I'm, I'm shaving this off at 40,000. So if you want to see how I look without this beard, go ahead, subscribe, like comment, but you guys wait until after the election. And I want you to go back and look at every stock I suggest in this series, because you have the opportunity now to three, five, 10 times your money. But remember, this is the time in the season to hold long. You should be investing long right now, right? Remember, live, love, laugh, and learn.